Hey everyone, Azim here. We are gonna take a look at some models and histology of the finger or toenail. Taking a look at the nail, the anatomy of a nail. So first we're looking at this picture of a model here. This uh, is a finger with the nail on top. Uh, let's take a closer look. So here, the top part of the nail, the part that's hard that you can touch and see by yourself, this is the nail plate or nail body. The nail plate, nail body, it's made of dead keratinized cells, um, extension of your epidermis, um, highly keratinized, that's why it's so hard. And it's, and it's not alive, so it's very protective. <clears throat> deep to the nail plate, deep to the nail plate is living cells, that's the nail bed. That's the nail bed. Um, the nail bed does extend deeper as well as the nail plate. This region, this region here is the, the root of the nail. That's the nail root. And in that root nail bed region, you've got some cells that are special. And we'll cut the work. Going up and around that root and nail plate, you've got some special cells here. This is part of the nail matrix. If you recall, when we talk about hair, in this region of hair, in this region of hair, there's a hair matrix where you have living cells that undergo mitosis to produce more hair. In the nail matrix, you have cells here that undergo mitosis and cause the nail to grow distally. The part of the nail that's hanging over, the part of the nail that's hanging over, the part that you would trim, that's the free edge. That's the free edge of the nail. This protective part on the proximal part of your nail, this protective part on the proximal part of your nail, um, this is called the eponychium. Epo means on top, like epi, like epidermis is on top. Nichium, whoops, N-Y-C-H-I-U-M. Eponychium, that's, nichium is front to nail. Eponychium is the thickened tissue on top. If you'll notice, if you haven't gotten your gotten a manicure or something, you'll notice that there's some flaky uh, textured stuff on, 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 the, on the nail on top, and you can kind of push it back, the stuff that you push back. The part of the eponychium that goes on top of the nail, that's the cuticle. That's the cuticle. <clears throat> Underneath the nail, on the distal side, Underneath the nail on the distal side, that's the hyponychium. It's to protect the underside of the nail, the hyponychium. Eponychium on top, hyponychium underneath. I'm gonna clear this, because it's getting messy. So once again, the matrix, nail matrix is over here. Because your nail is mostly translucent, it's pretty clear. And you can see that because you can see the blood underneath and if you push it, it becomes whiter because the blood's getting pushed away. You'll notice that at the base of your nail, there's a, a darker spot, like darker meaning more opaque. It's white for me, probably white for most of you. And it's this lighter, darker, more opaque spot, less translucent than the rest of the nail plate. This area where it's more opaque, that's called the lunula. And it's called the lunula because it's moon-shaped. You can actually see this better in a different view. So I'm going to switch. <clears throat> this area here is known as the lunula. It's called the lunula because it's moon-shaped. Why is there a lunula? Because underneath it, underneath the nail, you have that matrix. And the matrix is dense, full of lots of cells that are dividing, and because they're denser, they're hiding the blood vessels that are underneath. 
So you're not seeing the blood vessels here. That's why there's a lunula. Here's our lunula, a little bit different color than the rest of our nail. Because deeper to the nail, we're getting, we're getting blocking the view of the blood vessels thanks to the matrix. On this model, a bit different. Again, you can see the nail plate, nail bed, hyponychium, uh, epinychium has been pulled off. See how the section's been taken off? Here's the epinychium. And then the free edge over here. Um, this one doesn't show the matrix as well. You need to cut in to see the matrix. There's one more model I want to show you, and then we can go to histology. This one. Not as high resolution, but we'll work with it. Um, here's that free edge. Nail plate. Nail uh, bed. Nail bed. This is the root of the nail. So the matrix is going to be found all around here. You can see the lunula right here. On the surface of the nail would be the cuticle. Here's the epinychium. And then underneath is the hyponychium. That's the basic anatomy of a nail looking at different models. Now let's take a look at histology. To get this picture, I had to piece together, you can tell, three different fields of view. This is at 40x. This is at 40x, looking at a fingernail. This is a longitudinal cut. So if you, this is your finger and you just cut it in half this way, so it's split like this, that's what we're seeing here. The nail plate would be right here. <clears throat> that would be the nail plate. The nail bed, whoops, too far. The nail bed, would be here. That's the nail bed. The matrix is in this region surrounding the root. So that cells would grow in that direction, undergo mitosis. Uh, this is the free edge of the nail, the part that you cut, dead cells only. The epinychium is right here, and the cuticle would extend on top of the nail plate, but the epinychium is right here. The hyponychium is right here. There's a hyponychium. I believe that's all we can see here. And just to orient yourself a bit more, here's the very end of the fingertip. This is where your phalan phalanx bone is, the, the bone of your finger. And then here's the rest of your skin. Cool. All right. That's it for the nail. Thanks for listening. Please let me know if you have any questions.